how millionaires invest and manage their money differently. This is the first time I am doing a, a workshop or a meeting on how to invest and manage your money. I've been doing this for almost two years now, and I've been always talking about how to make money how to close sales, how to do lead generation, how to do positioning, uh, how to do marketing, all these things. And this is the first time that I do it because a few months ago I did a survey to our members and I gave them a list of topics that they want to learn. And they say, you know what, one of the topics that we want to learn, Dan, is how to manage our money. And that's interesting because this is something I love to talk about, but I wasn't sure if the group is ready for it. The king of high ticket sales, world's highest paid consultant, media celebrity, multi-millionaire entrepreneur, acclaimed TEDx speaker, international best-selling author, Dan Locke. Now, just before the workshop, that I got a few emails from our members. Uh, they're saying, you know what, well, Dan, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with money, or I'm still learning how to make money, or I don't have any money to manage. So, you know, this workshop ain't for me. And that lies the first fucking problem. It's like, it's, it's absolutely moronic. It's like saying, I'll exercise when I'm fit. You don't wait till you're fit and then you exercise. You exercise to get fit. So if you don't have any money right now, you don't wait till I'll make more money, then I'll learn to manage it. The very fact you don't have a lot to manage right now shows you don't know how to fucking manage it. It's very simple. So it's not that you wait till you have money, then you do it, it's along the way, as you make money, you have to learn how to manage it. If you're making 5,000 a month, and you can't manage 5,000, what makes you think you can manage 50,000 a month? What makes you think you can manage half a million a month? You can't even manage the fucking five grand that you have. And it's how it works. Money is attracted to people who knows how to multiply it. Write it down. Money is attracted to people who know how to multiply it. That's why the rich get richer. Has nothing to do with opportunity. It's, it's for them, it's not for others. It's not about that. It's because they have the skill set to multiply and money is attracted to that. And that's why they grow their wealth in a very rapid pace. So let me share something with you of my own kind of financial journey, okay? Now I've not always been financially successful. I once struggled, just like most people, from month to month living kind of paycheck to paycheck and trying to make ends meet. The lowest point of my life, I remember back then when I had no money, and at the time I was living with my mom in Surrey in a one-bedroom apartment that we rent. And my mom and I would go to the, the uh, there's a bakery near my house, about 10 minute drive, and once a week we'll go there around 6 p.m. Now the bakery closes at 7 p.m. Do you know why I go at 6 p.m.? because you can get a load of bread for just a few dollars. And my mom and I would buy that load of bread. And we'd, make, we'd eat that for breakfast, we'd eat that for lunch, for an entire week. And my mom and I would go to the, 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 the store, superstore, the grocery store, and we'd go to, not the vegetable food section, we'd go to the corner where they have the almost expired food. How many know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we buy grocery from there. So I know what it's like not to have money. I know that. We had multiple, I had multiple credit cards, all maxed out, trying to max out this one and, and do cash withdrawal, trying to make minimum payment on that one, and then that one is maxed out, and I try to get another card, and that one is maxed out. I know that. Through my business failure, at one point I was $150,000 in debt. $150,000 in debt. So when I first started making more money, as I turned my life around, I often live beyond my means, and on many occasions, just 
spend, just spend money and struggle to pay bills on time. Now, although on the service, based on my lifestyle, I was drive, driving a nice car and I was spending money and I was going on vacations and buying my friend's dinner, all that stuff, to be doing quite well, but the reality is I, was, I spent so much time worrying about money and my financial situation. Now, why, and when I first started making money, why did I feel the need to spend it? Because when I had no money, I had no self-esteem. I had no friends. So as I make more money, I thought if I buying my friends dinner, by treating them well, by taking them on vacations, that, guess what, I get what? What? Friends, friends attention, makes me feel good. Yeah, maybe a little bit, little bit even a little bit of love, right? Just get some attention from it. I thought that's what you do to friends. Now, let me ask you a question. If my friends are friends with me because I buy them stuff, are they true friends? No, they're not true friends because true friends are with you no matter what. doesn't matter how much money you have. I learned that lesson because when I stop buying them stuff, they stop showing up, right? So maybe there's something wrong with my personality. <laughs> So then in my 20s, I had focused most of my energy and time knowing how to make more money now. Here's the key. I had to believe that, which I now know to be false, that I could just make more money. Everything would work out. Now, put up your hand. How many of you are very good with sales and marketing? And making money, it's relatively easy for you. Just put up your hand. You're good at making it, OK? Same thing with me. I thought, oh, easy. I can, I can make another sale. I can do more marketing and generate more leads, close another sale. I can make money. Nah, no problem. I can always make more. I can always make more. And I came to realize that just wasn't true. It just wasn't true. And my king income continued to go up, but my situation never really changed. At first, when I was started to kind of have a little bit of a break, and I was making $2,500 a month as a copywriter. And I pray to the universe and say, you know, please, please just let me double my income. Let me get up to $5,000. I will never, ever, I'm, I will never ask for anything else. <laughs> just get me up to $5,000. I'm happy. My mom, I'm taking care of my mom. I'm good. I can no longer have to buy, you know, those expired groceries. I can buy some real groceries. And I get to $5,000. What happens? You want more. Then I prayed again, please, please, like universe, just let me just double that one more time. 10,000 a month, yes, 10,000. I will never ask for anything again. <laughs> and he hit the 10,000 and he found ways to spend money, better car, better stuff. And then you get 10,000, of course, same room, I prayed again, right? Because it kind of worked. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, please, whatever I was doing, it's kind of working. Because I was spending too much. So please, just let me double that one more, just, I'm not greedy, just one more time. I won't ask for anything again, ever. Let me double that. 20K, that's all I need. You get the 20K, you find ways to spend it. Same room. Hi. <laughs> yes, it's me again. It's me again. And that did not work. That did not work. So the only difference was when I was younger and earning less. Now, behavior was the same. But when I was earning less, now I had a lot more debt and a lot more stuff, a lot more toys, a lot more stuff that I could spend, but kind of the same. The, the, if you look at my financial statement, it's the same. Doesn't matter, I was making you know, two $2,500 a month and now $25,000 a month. My cash flow pattern, what is it? It's the same, it's a poor person's cash flow pattern. It's, it doesn't matter how much I make, I just spend it. How many of you can find ways to spend money? <laughs> Quite easily, yes? Uh, you notice when you, had, when you were just getting started in your career, what you want and what you need, it's like, well, this is how much I want. Actually, how many of you have done that? Like, hey, you know what, this is all I need. Just let me double that. I'll, that'll be enough for me. How many of you have done that before? Is it the same room? Same, same prayer? <laughs> right? So I was getting a new car. Now, this was back then. I had my uh, uh, Mazda uh, uh, a sport car. And you can see my oversized suit, my fucking glasses, my spiky hair. Back then, I was younger, so I was getting, I was getting a new car every year, right? And I got the, the uh, Audi R8, and it was nice, and all that stuff. Was getting, and it was, I mean, I, was, I would go out to dinner with my friends, and, and we would drop like 3K, three grand on night. And I don't even fucking drink. I do not drink, and we drop three grand. How? I have no clue. I don't even what they eat, what they drink. I have no clue. So we're spending just money stupid. It was very, very stupid. 
So why spending money feels good? And this is the psychology of it. I think because it's just my logic, kind of what I came up with. I believe when you're poor, you're surrounded by things that you think you would like to own. Oh, the nice car, the nice house, that vacation, or those things I want to buy. But cannot afford to buy. But after a while, you associate the feeling of unsatisfied desire with poverty. So when design begins to feel poor, having seems like it will make you feel rich. I'll say again. When desiring begins to feel poor, having seems like, like it will make you feel rich. So I was feeling unsatisfied, and I thought buying the next car, buying the next thing would make me happy. Now, how many of you have, have this experience? Maybe even guys, like you have this dream car, whatever you want to buy, whatever the thing. It doesn't have to be car, but it's a big purchase, okay, that you really wanted that. And you work your ass off, and you get it. And the happiness lasts for about what? How long? Hmm? Couple months, maybe a few days, maybe a few months. In some cases, maybe a few hours. Who knows? Whatever the thing is. Then guess what? Then we look for the next thing, right? I've done that. I've done that. Nothing wrong with that. And I tell all my young mentees, even I tell them, don't go buy that sport car. You'll still fucking do it. I know that. Because they need to get that out of the system. They need to, you know, yeah, I said, don't, don't, don't buy that Maserati. It's, it really, it's not necessary. Yeah, yeah, then I know, I agree with you. But let me buy it, let me learn it myself, <laughs> right? And then I'll, I'll drive something, something else. Uh, they all have to go through that. Nothing wrong with it. I, I've gone through that. I learned it very, very quickly. I still like nice things, don't get me wrong. And I'll share with you that how you could have the nice things and still have the freedom that you want. So I realized that just making more money was not the answer. Making more money was not what? Was not the answer. So I had to learn how to properly manage my money, whatever money that comes in. And I had to learn how to acquire and create assets that would create wealth. There's a very big difference between making money and creating wealth. Some of you are very good at making money, not so good at creating wealth. They're two very, very different things. Just because you know how to make money doesn't mean you know how to create wealth. They're two very, very different things. From that point on, I made my mission to locate and study all the information I could find on the subject of money. Making it, keeping it, growing it, multiplying it, how do you do that? And through the effort, try and error, a lot of, a lot of sweat and tears, and I've developed a set of principles and guidelines, which is what I'm gonna share with you today. Okay, does that sound good? Yes. Yeah, which one I'm going to share with you today. Hi, this is Dan Locke. Welcome to Dan Locke TV. I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now you might ask, why should I? Every week, I'll post two new videos, all focusing on helping you becoming a better entrepreneur. You will be challenged, and you will be inspired, and you will be motivated. More importantly, you'll get practical ideas and strategies that will take your business to the next level. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification so you don't miss out on a single episode. I promise you, you won't regret it.